All right, guys, we're back here with Mickey in Yakima, Washington. How's it going, Mickey? Hey, this is Mickey, a.k.a. VI 1973 uh, model, 1973 model. I'm a 1973 model, and I like to say this, this uh, place here has really, has really helped, you know, it's helped. Help, help me, help me, uh, help me out in a certain way, but in a certain way it's kind of kept me there because the simple fact that as soon as I get something, I try to turn in, you know, and try to get in, boom, it's gone. And I told you last time I said there was a guy that keeps doing that shit. Uh, the damn dude, he just kicks people out and just, just ruins their day, and I don't see why he works here for for this place. Uh, Ooh. Carlos, the guy. The guy's name is Carlos. You know? I don't see why he works here for this place. I have nothing. Yeah, I have, I, have, I have nothing. I have nothing against him, but the simple fact is, if he's gonna work for a place, treat everybody, you know, like they're they're a man. Don't don't treat somebody like like you know, just like they're second rate, like like I'm, like I'm under him. And uh, I just like to say he just treats people like shit. And I don't know how he kept his job this long, but um. I don't know, every time he sees me, he wants to throw me out. And I don't know if he sees this on YouTube or whatever the hell. But he's, he's, how, how often do you get kicked out, uh, Mickey? Uh, well, I get kicked out like at least once a, once a year, you know. Something like this, you know, something like this. Uh, they kick you out for anything, you know. Mickey, do you spend the night there? Sometimes, least... sometimes I spend the night what, there. What are the rules there to spend the night, Mickey, just out of curiosity? Uh... The rules are just, uh, you gotta be in, like early, you gotta be in like at, uh, I think it's 4.30 to 5.30, you know, that's not too, that's not too long of a time because I work, I, uh, I don't work, but I help a guy put away a little bit of stuff, and, uh, and when I get done, you know, it's at the, right at the same time, as they close the place up, and they usually say, nah, you're here every day, you know. You have that every day, but I'm trying, to, I'm trying to survive, trying to trying to do a little help, you know, to, to to make myself be a better guy. And instead of helping me out, they just want to keep throwing me to the wind, you know. And I just say it's, it's not right. I say if, if they're gonna they're gonna say they're they're gonna help me, no help and, and be that guy. Just don't just don't let some guy work and just ruin people's lives and be totally mean to them. That's not cool. That just, that just ur ur urges, urges me, you know, and I just want to say is just continue to do the same thing. Just kick people out for no reason at all. I don't see why it works, but he just wants to make someone's life a living hell. And we're already homeless, you know, why Why? Why should he do like, like what he's done? I think he's done way too much, I like to say. You, you have a lot of dislike for that Carlos guy, huh? Yeah. What all has he done for you? He's done nothing totally. I mean, he's just, he's like, um, kicked me out and just like I'll take a walk like why do you want me to take a walk I do, I do nothing wrong he just he just likes to throw his weight around you know power power control type of guy and kick people out for no reason at all you know you ask any of the you ask anybody about that guy they'll tell you about that guy I got to say yeah Carlos you know? hey do you talk to Merritt the guy that's over there sometimes I do yeah you know, you know, sometimes I do. are you talking about Rainmaker no, 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 uh, Merritt, the guy that's standing right over there. Where? Where? Look, over there. Inside the fence right here. Uh, oh, that guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I talked to him. He, he's, he's a little bit out there. Poor guy. I mean, most of the people here are, are crazy. You know what I mean? And, uh, but, uh, but for, for, for the most part, it is, it is what it is. You know, he probably thinks I'm crazy, too. Everybody, everybody probably thinks that everybody's crazy enough you know, to be homeless for so long. And Merit, uh, sorry, I'm thinking about Merit because we just saw him. Yeah. Uh, Mickey, right. are you still doing drugs? Well, what were you doing last time? Fentanyl and, and meth, right? Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't do any of it. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just worthless. It's, it just, it just takes, takes from you and, and depletes you. As far as I'm concerned, it's just an excuse to be homeless. Uh, I think. I think a lot of people that are homeless are because they don't want to straighten their life out and do simple things. And if you do want to straighten your life out and do simple things, not to be homeless, then you shouldn't be homeless, you know what I mean? But some things, some things are hard for some people, and some things are not, you know? And I don't think it's, I don't think they help, I don't think they help the person that's homeless. 
I what have you help. seen out here, Mickey, since the last time we spoke? I've seen just, for the most part, um, just the same old, same old people just doing drugs, being crazy. Some people are cool and they're just stuck and they can't help it, you know. Some people are just, they like it. They like the street life and some people... How's it going, man? Some people do not. Um, I feel, as far as I'm concerned, it's just, it's just a excuse to be more homeless. Uh-huh. Oh, man. But I'm trying, I'm trying to put one foot in front of the other and get through this uh, homelessness. And hopefully, hopefully the next time you guys talk to me, I won't be homeless. Cause it's sad. It's like I feel like they uh, just really try to keep you there. That's hard, I'm sure. Mickey, who do you usually hang out with out here in the streets? Anybody. Anybody usually my my friends. Um, the main thing I do is I try to hang out with some What's people. That? The main thing I do is try to hang out with a person that's not gonna rob. That's not gonna rob you and steal from you. It's hard to find that when you're homeless, you just keep getting robbed and keep getting set back in the same spot. But uh, I um, think it'll be better. Mickey, do you have any children? Yeah. How many? I just have one. I have one son. His name is Landon Robin Doris. He's not with me right now. And do you talk to your children? I talk to them on a regular or basis. your son, my bad. I try to talk to him. I haven't talked to him for a long time now. Uh-huh. I think he's been adopted out to uh, yeah. CPS. What happened to his mom? His mom just, I don't know what happened to her. She just did, did drugs and kind of just neglected him. How long have you been out here in the streets, Mickey, for people that haven't seen your other video? Uh, for like three years. So. And uh, what message do you have for the youth about homelessness, Mickey? It's not where you want to be. You want to you want to get yourself in a place and not be treated treated like a homeless person because it just seems like it just seems like it never gets gets over. It seems like it seems like everybody treats you like crap. And what short term goal do you have to get out of your current situation? Just uh, finding a place, finding a place and and uh, staying there. You know, getting back with my my, my uh, getting back with my lady and. Getting married and marrying her, hopefully marrying, getting married and stuff. And when you say your lady, are you talking about the mother of your child or someone else? Somebody else. And how long were you with her, the one that you're describing? The one that I said right now, Cheryl? Yeah. Uh, I've been with her for like uh, about a year now. I met you her guys as... broke up recently or? No, we're still together. We just. Oh, okay. She just works and shit. Is she out here in the streets as well? No, no, she works. She works at uh, Wapto. Oh, okay. And Wapto, she works at the um, at the Noah's Ark and stuff. She does pretty good. She's a good lady. She didn't do drugs or anything. Oh, That's really? Good. She yeah. doesn't do any drugs, huh? Mm -hmm. Um. That's all right, Mickey. Would you be okay with doing another follow-up interview in the future? Sure, I'll do it. Yeah. No and uh, what message do you have for any family or friends if they end up seeing this video? Just tell them. Try not to. Try not to be homeless and don't do drugs, that's all. Would you be okay with me posting this on my YouTube channel? Sure. I appreciate it, Mickey. Thank you. All right.